So hey, it's Aiden. Um, this is my project on Million for the International Science and Engineering Fair 2022. Uh, it's been a really meaningful journey to me, and I hope uh, this final product video kind of shows my passion and I, I guess re really interest in this type of field of human computer action. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Aiden Bai. I'm a junior at Canvas High School, and I created Million, a fast compile augmented virtual document object model, DOM, for performant JavaScript user interface UI libraries, or essentially how I made user interfaces faster. Every single day, I use an application called Slack. Slack is often used in workspaces for inter-team communication. I love Slack. It gives me a lot of functionality to message my friends, coworkers, or colleagues. The main issue with Slack is when I navigate between pages, it takes a couple seconds. And it's not like I navigate uh, only a couple channels every day or just see like two messages, I see dozens and dozens of messages and channels every day and those seconds really add up. The reason why Slack is this slow is because it uses something called a single page user interface library. These libraries allow developers to easily create user interfaces, which is why their usage is so prevalent in the top 10,000 websites on the internet. However, as I mentioned before, these Libraries cause slow loading times and slow rendering times. We can see this with RateMyDorm.com, which is a website that uses a single page user interface library. The first contentful pane, which measures the slow the loading time, is roughly five seconds, while the timed interactive, which measures render speed, takes almost nine seconds. This is really frustrating. To remedy this issue, developers have been exploring solutions like transitional user interface libraries. These libraries utilize something called an incremental JavaScript runtime, where basically JavaScript is only run when you need it. To illustrate this, let's look at the Yahoo Finance website to the left. A single page user interface library would render this entire page indiscriminately, so you can imagine this entire page as pink. However, with transitional user interface libraries, we can identify parts that are interactive and non-interactive. This way, we only load the parts that are interactive on demand, and the static parts are not loaded on the end user. Instead, they're loaded once on the server. But what happens when we click on one of these interactive portions? Doesn't it use the same exact rendering algorithm? Million's aim is to improve the actual interactive rendering speed. Before we get into how Million works, let's talk about the document object model and the virtual DOM. The document object model is the native way of rendering web user interfaces. In order to make a change from, for example, example domain to hello ICEF, we essentially need to define three imperative procedural steps to make that change. This can become really cumbersome when we scale. For example, I have multiple versions of this with slight alterations or more complex functionality. This is why developers have been exploring solutions like Virtual DOM, which is a declarative approach to rendering web user interfaces. Instead of defining steps to actually make the change or specific changes on the user interface, all I have to do is provide the Virtual DOM with a model of what I want the user interface to look like. Million is a variant of the Virtual DOM. The virtual DOM's downside is that it renders everything on the runtime, meaning it can have really bad performance. Million uses a compiler and a runtime approach. In this fashion, Million does all the unnecessary work on the compiler, and the optimized output is put on the runtime. This approach is significantly faster than rendering all the content during the runtime, as the end user needs to run less code and the code is optimized for the runtime. In order to ensure best practices for my library, I followed three main design principles. Number one, fast load times, which are measured through first contentful paint. The DOM load time is roughly zero seconds, while the virtual DOM standard currently ranges from 0.01 to 0.03 seconds. Million's aim is to have under 0.01 seconds on the, the HTTP2 no throttle benchmark. Additionally, Million wants to have very fast render speeds, which is measured by operations per second. If we pin the DOM at 100% rendering speed, the virtual DOM is roughly 60% of that, which is really, really suboptimal. 
Millions aim is to close the gap and have over 95% of the DOM's rendering speed. Million also needs to be very developer friendly, which is measured through GitHub stars. The virtual DOM cumulatively over the last decade has roughly received over 5.6 thousand stars. Million's aim is to have 2,000 stars within one year. In order to ensure fast runtime performance, I followed a three-step methodology. First, I can reduce the execution time. Since we're already leveraging the compiler, we can reduce the number of computation we need to do. By reducing the amount of computations, we can also reduce the amount of execution time. Secondly, we can proactively remove unnecessary tasks. Million introspects it on its own tasks and removes any unnecessary tasks. Third, we can optimize the task execution order. Tasks that are important for the performance of the website are executed first, while less important tasks can be deferred for later use. And because of its robust methodology and um, design principles, Million sports exceptional performance. As you can see in this benchmark, when compared to other virtual DOM libraries, Million has much better performance. As highlight, highlighted in the pink in the visualization to the right, you can see that Million is 133 to 300% better than the current virtual DOM libraries. The main difference between Million and other virtual DOM is that it uses a compiler. In this way, it can optimize for render speed and load time. And because of these exceptional benchmarks, it's already been used in various open source projects. Quartz, a very popular project for creating digital gardens, uses Million as its router. Additionally, Tiny Pages, which is a SSG, experienced a 50% reduction in first contentful paint when switching from Preact to Million. Million has also been featured in major developer publications like JavaScript Weekly in YC Hacker News. And in response, it has received over 2,000 GitHub stars as of May 2022. To have an illustrative example, this is roughly 500 YouTube subscribers, or 500,000 YouTube subscribers. Additionally, Million has received over 200,000 unique impressions on both the GitHub website and Dev2 articles. Million has been a culmination of over 500 hours within 10 months of work. It's been a really, really meaningful project to me. And this is also excluding marketing and community building efforts, which has taken even more time. On the GitHub, Million has received over 121 pull requests and 36 feature requests. If there's three major takeaways you should have is that Million is very fast at rendering content and loading user interfaces. It's very developer friendly, so it's easy to integrate. And most importantly, it's a breakthrough in the stagnant virtual DOM space. The virtual DOM has been around for almost a decade now, and we've only seen minor performance improvements. By leveraging the compiler, we can make a quantum leap in not only virtual DOM rendering, but user interface rendering in general. For our next steps, I want to explore more complex compilation techniques like static analysis to further reduce intermediate computations. And I also want to work with transitional user interface library developers to replace existing virtual DOMs with MillionJS. Thank you.